something major just changed inside Meta. And if your Facebook ad results suddenly shifted, this might be why. We're talking about Andromeda, Meta's brand new AI engine that's quietly changing how ads are shown, who sees them, and why your old campaign structure might not work anymore. This is one of the biggest updates since the iOS 14 chaos. But unlike that one, this change can actually help you perform better if you understand how it works. Stay with me until the end of this video because I will walk you through exactly what to do next from your creative testing to your audience setup and the tracking and much more. Let's start by talking first about what actually changed. And I will try to simplify Andromeda as much as possible. Before, when you launch an ad, Meta had to search through millions of options to decide which ads to show to which people. That search system, called the Retrieval Engine, was old, slower, and limited. Andromeda is basically a brand new version of that engine, built with much more powerful AI and hardware. So here is what that means. Meta can now look at way more ads and test them faster. It doesn't just group people by demographics or interest anymore. It analyzes patterns of behaviors, creative formats, and even the message inside your ad. Then the system decides this type of message works best for this type of person and automatically matches them. So instead of you manually trying to figure out the perfect targeting, Meta now does that for you. And it does it very well and with very high technology. But it can only do its job the right way if you give it enough creative variety to work with. If you've seen Meta's diagram of this update, it basically works like this. On the left, you have user requests. So those are people scrolling on Facebook or Instagram. And in the middle, Andromeda creates something called a hierarchical ad index. It sorts ads into smaller groups based on their theme, visuals, and messages. Then this model quickly predicts which ad in each group fits that specific user best. In short, Meta's new system doesn't only run ads, it understands them. The second thing we are going to discuss is why creative variety matters now more than ever. Well, most advertisers still do the following. They create one product video, then five small variations, maybe new hooks, new headlines, new backgrounds, new colors, and call it a test. Well, that's over. Meta's new engine doesn't need small edits. It needs different ad concepts, or what I like to call angles. An angle is the core idea behind your ad, the story you tell, and who you are talking to. Let's take a clean makeup brand as an example. A sensitive skin angle could look something like this. Finally, makeup that doesn't irritate or clog pores. An eco-friendly angle could look something like this. Sustainable, cruelty-free beauty that's better for your skin and for the planet. A gift angle could be something like this. The perfect clean beauty set to gift someone you love. And we don't even need to stop in here. We can also do age-based angles. So for younger women, we can do something like a faultless, natural-looking makeup that enhances, not hides, your skin. And for more mature women, we can do something like clean makeup that smooths, hydrates, and feels light because beauty doesn't have an age limit. Each of these different angles speak to different potential customers and Andromeda automatically figures out which one works best for each person. So if you only have one type of creative, one angle, Meta has nothing to optimize with or to test. But if you have 15 to 30 different creatives in one ad set, Meta can now test them against multiple buyer types, learn faster, and scale the winners. Next, let's talk about how the new audience system works. Andromeda also introduced something called audience segments. They were actually already there, but now we are focusing on them even more. They are actually Meta's new way to help advertisers understand who their ads are reaching, and more importantly, whether they are new customers or existing ones. Here is what you should do. Go inside your ads manager, go to the advertiser settings, and to your audience segments, and create the two key groups. First, you have the engaged audience, people who visited your website watched your videos or interacted with your page, but haven't both yet. Second, you have the existing customers, and those are people who already purchased from you. You can upload these lists from Shopify or synchronize them automatically from your email app like Klaviyo or Omnisend. Once you have these segments set up, Meta will learn the difference between who already knows you and who's never heard of you. This helps the algorithm 
focus your main campaigns on new customer acquisition while still being smart enough to retarget and resell to the right people. And not only that, it can also help you to decide which campaigns to scale or which ad sets to scale. Let's say, for example, in one of your ad sets, Meta is spending a lot on your existing customers. Maybe in this case, you won't scale this ad set because instead of making your old customers buy again and again from you through Facebook, you want to acquire new customers and you prefer to retain your customers via emails, for example, or SMS marketing. So in this case, you put your budget on the ad sets where Facebook is spending most on new customers and a new audience. So basically what I'm trying to tell you in here that all of these old things like lookalikes, interests, and so on will become less and less effective. What you need to focus on the most are your creatives. Now, when it comes to retargeting, because I know so many people like to talk about retargeting, well, Advantage Plus Campaigns already does a lot of this automatically. But you can still run a small retargeting campaign for specific promos, for example, like when you launch a new product or during sales events. So here is what I recommend you to do. Keep it simple. One ad set targeting your engaged audience with a mix of review-based testimonials and offer creatives it keeps your warm audience active without overcomplicating your structure. Now, all of these amazing things will not work if your tracking is off or it's not working properly. This part is actually the foundation for everything else. Even with Andromeda, your results will only be as good as your data. That's where advanced matching and the conversion API come in. I know this seems very technical, but I will explain them to you in a few seconds. Advanced matching simply helps Meta connect purchases or signups on your store with the Facebook or Instagram account that did them, using things like emails, phone numbers, or device info. The conversion API does the same thing, but on the server side, meaning it tracks conversions even when cookies or browsers fail. If you are using Shopify, most probably you have this already covered and you don't need to worry about anything. But anyway, it's better to double check. So go to your Shopify dashboard to the Facebook sales channel to the data sharing settings and set it up to be maximum. You can also double check this within your Facebook business manager. That's how you unlock the faster optimization window and you allow Facebook to judge creatives faster than before. So now you can maybe take three to four days instead of waiting a full week. Now we reach the part that most probably you are waiting for and it is how to structure your account now. Well, I'm happy to tell you that now it's even simpler than before. Yes way way simpler with this new update campaign structure matters more than ever but not in the way most advertisers think here is the structure that's performing best across e-commerce accounts right now and actually this is the same structure i have been using for a very long time now first your main advantage plus campaign or the scaling engine if you are using the advantage plus shopping campaign you won't actually see ad sets within the campaign but meta is going to handle them automatically behind the scenes so all you need to do is to upload all your creatives directly into this campaign. You can go as up as 20, 30, it doesn't matter now. The most important thing is to test a lot of angles and to make your creatives different. So Meta can test these creatives across different audiences and match them the best way. And if you prefer a little bit more control, although I don't recommend this, you can still use a standard campaign with let's say one to three ad sets, and for example, you can do one ad set per product category or audience theme. So this is going to be your first and most important campaign. Your second campaign could be your testing campaign or your creative lab. In there, you drop your new ideas every week. And I recommend you to be generous in here and create a lot of creatives every single week. This is now super important. Let them run for three to four days to gather data faster and allow Facebook to understand who are the potential customers for each type of angle. When you spot clear winners, strong CTRs, solid CPCs, consistent sales, move them into your main Advantage Plus campaign to scale. And for sure, keep scaling them within your testing campaign. We never turn off something that's working well. Now your third campaign, and this one is actually optional and it depends on your budget, is your retargeting campaign. This one you can use for launches or time-sensitive promos. Target your engaged audience, and show testimonial ads, review carousels, and limited time offers. In this campaign, target your engaged audience, website visitors, video viewers, email subscribers, and make your creatives better suitable for retargeting. So do testimonials, review carousels, 
and limited time offers. Keep it light with one ad set, maybe 15 ads, so you don't overlap your main campaign. So let's meta-analyze and allocate spend across angles. You just need to feed it fresh inputs and keep the account organized. And that's it. Now let's discuss your game plan for this new era. The new rules for profitable Facebook ads. This is a very important section of the video, so make sure to watch it carefully and take notes. First, creative diversity is the new targeting. Stop micro tweaking ads, focus on different angles and stories. Second, feed meta, clean data. Turn on advanced matching and the conversion API so the system knows who's buying and why. Third, segment your audience. Build engaged and existing customer lists so Meta can prioritize new buyers without wasting budget. And make sure to double check these numbers within your ads manager to know which campaigns to scale and which campaigns to keep as it is. Fourth, simplify your structure. A lean account with two core campaigns will outperform 10 fragmented ones. And finally, refresh your creatives weekly. This is actually the most important thing that you should be focusing on. Aim for 20 to 30 new concepts a month to keep the algorithm learning. And when you follow this rhythm of testing, learning, and moving winners and refreshing, you're not fighting the algorithm anymore, you're fueling it. And here is the crazy part. Advertisers already using this structure are seeing 20 to 40% better ROASs. Not because they changed their budget, but because they changed how they feed meta, its data, and creative variety. So this is basically the entire Andromeda advantage. Simpler structure, smarter data, and a lot more creative firepower. I know coming up with all of these creative ideas every single week seems very challenging. And it is actually unless you have a system that's working for your favor. So if you want to know more about how to never get stuck getting good angles and good ideas to test for your products, I highly recommend you to check out this video on my YouTube channel. In this video, I show you the exact system I use so I never feel stuck coming out with angles and ideas for my creatives. Happy learning and see you there.